Good morning. Welcome, welcome to yet another edition of Business Garage Studio Audience. Let me hear a shout in this place. You're very welcome. Help me in a very special way. Make our online audience welcome. Register General Masike Kainowisho. I see you, Susie Nabide. Studio Audience, as you clap. Tracy Birunji, Bridget Achola, Imi Oven, Melody Owundo, Susie Nabi, dear friends, we are very excited you've joined us this morning. Welcome, welcome. This is one of the best decisions you're going to make as a business leader. My name is Florence. I'm so honored to be back here on the set of Business Garage. Greetings to you, Pastor B3. I'm so happy and excited to be here for, especially for what we are yet to receive. In a very special way, would you help me appreciate the Business Garage team? for the incredible work they do. Help me appreciate the media team that brings us this weekly broadcast. Come on, people. Help me appreciate Apostle Moses, who is behind the vision for Business Garage. Yes, so much value we get in this space. So you are very welcome. I'm sure you know what to do. One of the things to do is to do what? Yeah. Is to share the link. So you be a good friend, be a good partner, be a good neighbor, be a good family member and share the link. Let's see these numbers go up because many people out there need this information. We've been going through the basics of business. We are laying the foundation so we can start the year with a strong foundation. So we've been talking about the basics. And what were the basics? The five? five. Studio audience, the five? five. Number one is? Insight. Yes, we've been talking about insight. We are basically doing the inside work. Because if we don't have the foundation on the inside, our businesses are going to fail. Businesses succeed from the inside out. So the first I is insight. For us to renew our minds by first of all having the right information to work with, bridge the knowledge gap. The second I is what? Income. And the third I is? Increase. The fourth I is? I have a studio audience. The fourth I is? And the fifth is? Impact. Apostle has done a great job to labor concerning insight. In fact, we've had three episodes laboring on insight, laying the foundation because we are transformed by the renewing of our mind. He has addressed the issue of the thermostat, if you remember. Yes, because our financial temperature is determined in the business is determined by this financial temperature as the that I have as a business owner. And he has also talked about the purpose of making money because where purpose is not known, abuse is what? Inevitable. So he has labored. And if you haven't caught all the last three episodes, actually there are four, but the three where he's talking about insight, it's very important that you have that foundation. So go back and watch them. And if you haven't watched them, I mean, if you've watched them, just rewatch. Because once we transform the inside, definitely what we flows from the inside of us is going to cause our businesses to succeed. In a very special way right now, studio audience, drum rolls. Help me make welcome Apostle Mose as he takes us through the second eye, which is the income, which I know you're all very eager to get because I don't know anyone who is in business and they're not there for income. Mm, I don't know if when you're not making profit, you're in business. Maybe that's a non-profit, yeah? But as far as I know, many of us are in business to make a profit. And I'm glad that we have a purpose as to why we are making that profit. So yes, go ahead and share that link because I know many people out there need to know how do I make the income. And people have started, it's a new year, people have started businesses. They want to make some money for whatever reason, but they have started. So we want to help them know how to grow this income from the businesses they've started, have been running for a while. And you could be there and you've been running your business for a while, but you haven't broken through to get that profit, yeah? And you're feeling small, small discouragement. Today, you're going to get the solution to that. Today, to tell your neighbor, today. Today, we are going to understand how do I make this money? How do I break through? How do I make a profit so that I can be of impact in the society or community where God has placed me? Help me make welcome, wow. Apostle Mose. Hey, good morning, everyone. Good Welcome morning. to Business Garage. Yeah. Uh, Pastor Flo, is that dress sponsored by Pastor Steve? <laughs> Who could, else could it be? For sure, for sure. I send greetings to Pastor yeah. Steve in Senyonjo. Uh, for, uh, yeah, yeah. 
He's investing where the money is. You are investing heavily. Ma, 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 ma. Yeah. What a blessing. What now, a blessing. I have an offer yeah. here with me. Uh, the five most involved people on YouTube hey. are each going to get a copy of Straightforward Financial Growth. Come on now. And, and don't be one we of those who started. say... We have started. Don't be one of those who say... I, I already have a copy. You know, the copy you have is not the one that I'm holding right now. That you're giving right out now. today. Some people, they don't understand the difference. You, you may have bought a phone, but if I, I buy one for you, it's not the same. Hey. So you may have your SFFT copy, which you bought or borrowed or even downloaded illegally. I beg, no downloading. But I'm going to give you a special one. Mm -hmm. if, if you are the most actively engaged viewer on YouTube. Okay? Come on now. Let's, All right. Let's so let me, even, let me even put it here. That's For the one. Viewers, the most active. Mm -hmm. That is two. The tech team is going to let us know who the most active people were. That is three. Hey! And if there's I a number you can now. call actually to... to get your book that is full mm, mm, I mm, see mm, you mm, mm, mm. I see you Tony Mugeni Maureen Mogume come on guys five. let's go mm, mm, mm. <laughs> All right. Daniel five, Chaudhry five copies time to engage yeah. friends mm. Let, for us let's keep talking that tech people will decide who the winners are come on now so we are here to talk about income, income. And because this is business garage, we are talking about both personal income for you and the business income. Yeah. Because the same head Aish. that governs the income at home the is head. the same head that works on the income in the, in the business. business. So I know all too well what happens when the head is not working very well. <laughs> Uh, we have started. That's why you can have three businesses that are in the same, doing the same product, yeah. in the same market. Yes. Same economy. Same economy mm. with wildly diff different uh, results. And maybe about the same age, because you oh, could yeah. say some others were there way before, mm -hmm. but with wildly different results. results. Okay. Yeah. Wildly different results. So, it's the, the the thing is you can be there. I'm gonna hear, yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot it's to send most, greetings. Most I also send greetings to Irad Guma, who was our designer for this studio, who hey, got married. Congratulations. Uh, who got married on on what? On Friday. Yes. So two days in marriage, mm -hmm. Irad. We congratulate you and your lovely and patience, mm -hmm. Irad and patience, Guma. The, one of the latest couples. Here in Worship Harvest, we believe in marriage. M one man, one woman for life, married in church. <laughs> and we believe yes, in clear. early marriage. Yeah. yeah. You don't yeah. wait to turn 50, then you start looking for a wife. No, 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 no. If you're in your 20s, early 20s, that's mm. the best time. That's when Get you'll married. enjoy your marriage the yeah. most. Yeah. Later on. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know. We don't so, know. Those is, if you are above 25, you're running late. All right, let's go back to our thing here. Yeah. <laughs> so, inside income increase investment impact. Yeah. Income. Yeah. Money is a reward for solving, solving problems. problems. The more problems you solve, that, that quote is from Mike Maddock, the more money you make. Yes. If you solve very unique problems, you'll make more money. Both the butcher and the, 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 surgeon. the surgeon cut meat. But they are rewarded wildly differently. Even the one cuts even more meat than the other. Mm. <laughs> this is just by way of introduction. Mercy. Both the butcher and the surgeon are into meat, meat cutting. cutting. But, but they the are compensated very differently because of the value. It's they about the value, value, not the amount of activity. Come on now, not the business. It's not the business. It's, mm, the, business. it's the business. It's business, not business. Mm. Okay? 
Yeah. So what value are you bringing to the table? Tihab Eka says, you shall be compensated according to the value that you bring to the market. Who brings the value? Me. Who is compensated? Me. You, 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 you. Hey, Banange. Who brings the value? Me. Who is compensated? Me. Who determines how much money you make? Me. Why, who, who decides how much money you have in your account? Me. Is it the government? No. Is it the president? No. Is it the opposition? No, sir. Is it your boss? No, sir. Is it the NSSF no, boss? No, sir. Is it, no. is it uh, the MPs? No. Is it the LC1 chairman? No. Is it the pastor? No. Who Me. is it? Me. So just check your bank balance and your the bottom line of your mm. what is mm. what they call that thing your net worth and mm. then you realize that's you that that's that's the value you have been able to generate. Yeah. And you know the the good thing about money it has no emotions. No. You know, like when we are talking about marriage, there are lots of emotions. Feelings. No, you, you don't know my situation. This one is uniquely whatever. Okay, yes, granted. <laughs> we were not there when you were asking the person to whatever. Um, but when it comes to money, money, it's completely emotionless. It is amoral. Yeah. It's neither moral nor immoral. No, it is amoral. amoral. It's emotionless and amoral. Mm. So money is a very good guide mm. about the affairs of life because everyone can give excuses about something yeah. else. My, yeah. my spouse is difficult. Mm. But when it comes to money, it is as straight as it gets. Possible. Yeah. Mm. If you have little, it just That's... reveals your, the volume of knowledge you have about it. If you have much, it reveals the volume of knowledge you have about it. And you, the quicker you come to that realization, yeah. the better. And the quicker you come to the realization that the money in your business mm. is that amount because of you, the wow. leader of the business, the better. Because the only person you can control on a good day, as Danny Sick says, it's is me. you. I think we are, we've had enough of an introduction. Hey, what a powerful introduction. I hope you have your seatbelts on. What a start. But you have a story. Pastor Flo I has do. a story. <laughs> you see this beautiful dress uh, and all this, uh, this cool watch yeah. and those nice shoes yeah. and that nice jewelry yeah. and that smile. Yeah. They have not always been there. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. Okay. Once upon a time. <laughs> Let's go. You guys, so one day, mm -hmm. I was there minding my business, then I got married. Yeah. So you see when you're living in your parents' house, Apostle, eh? mm. you switch on all the lights you want, turn on all the water. You even let yeah, it drip. you drip it drip. Yeah, you eat the food and power some. Why is Ruth yeah. member shouting? <laughs> <laughs> she knows. Ruth Ma. Uh -huh. She knows. You eat all the bread you want, pour some, you know, all the food, what you want. In fact, you think juice comes from the fridge. Yeah. Someone well, was telling sure. me the other day that they didn't know where juice comes from. They would just sit at the table and there's juice. Wow. You know? Until you get married and, and move into your own house mm -hmm. and start becoming a responsible adult. Mm. And suddenly you realize how much money you need to make for bread to be on the table. Mm. And then when you get children... Hey. Hey. When you tell your person we are expecting hey. and they ask you what we are expecting, hey. you know, that was our story for real, for real, for real. It was those things of what are we expecting because there's nothing to expect right now apart from money because we are looking for what? Money. 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 And now you're talking about ex ex Money was avoiding you like the plague. <laughs> Too much. It was just waving at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we started to struggle quite a lot. The child came into a picture. We didn't have income streams to sustain just ourselves as a couple later on the baby. So there was so much struggle to the point that it affected our marriage. You don't say. I do say. Mm -hmm. It affected our marriage because then it becomes a blame game. Exactly what you've just shared. Exactly. That you're the one responsible for the money that should be here. We are struggling because you're the one, because of you. So then, 
Because every conversation ended up in a quarrel, we just started keeping quiet, you know. Because if I start, it's going to end up somewhere. Because everyone says, it's your what? Your it's fault. your fault. Hey. But thank God. Tell your neighbor, thank God. No, first give us some figures. Some, some figures. Are, you know, <laughs> oh, they might be thinking it business was business. Business courage, we deal in With figures. Numbers. We, are, we don't just tell stories. We were broke. What's that? To what extent? Figures. We want figures. Hey. Mm. Uh -huh. So, you guys, we were, between the two of us, me and my husband, we were earning a total of one million shillings. Uganda shillings. Mm. Oh, yeah. Between the two of us. And as you can imagine, if you're earning one million shillings and there are 30 days in a month, mm. there's definitely more month than the money. End, yeah, the end of the paycheck. Totally. How much was your rent? Rent at that time was staying in Kazinga was about 400k. Kazinga is beyond Mukono. Okay, so... Eh? Actually, Kazinga, 500k, not even Chirinya. 500k. Yeah. Deep inside, three kilometers Five, from 500. The, yeah. So, you're earning one million, rent is... Transport to come from, first of all, the house to the road. From the house to the <laughs> road. And then, <laughs> I, anyway, you, First, if you, I break it down for you, just know there was more month at the end of the paycheck. She, a lot of more month. She prefers not to have to recalibrate and recalculate. No, I don't want to remember. Hey. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it was really tight, friends. When I said tight, eh, it was really tight. My mom many, many times had to come through to bail us out. Stephen's parents had to come through many times to bail us out for sure. Food, what, so many things. So, because the one million wasn't enough, and the blame game was just ongoing with no solutions. Right about that time, as God would have it. Hey, wait, wait. Who are you currently, right yeah. now, mm. blaming for, for your, current the, situation. your current situation? Yeah. There's someone watching us right now. You can probably write down five names of people you can be yeah. blaming for your current. If situation. it were not for this person, I would be here. And if yeah, and if you're married, it's very likely your spouse <laughs> is Always. top of the list. Yeah. Mm. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but do you realize that when we have many problems, mm. the relationships that are affected the most yeah. are the most important relationships. Totally. And it's many either of them, the spouse, yeah. mm. the children, yeah. the parents. Yeah. Yeah. The it's closest. the closest relationship. Yeah. So don't take this lightly. Not at all. Because it can ruin your closest relationships. Mm. Yes. In fact, Apostle, many marriages have broken up because of money. Yep. Many, many of our friends because of money. I'm yeah. told it's the number one bre breaker of marriage. Oh, yeah. So then, as God would have it and be gracious to us, Apostle writes a book called Straightforward Financial Growth. Of which the top five most participating people on YouTube are each are going to get, get a today, free today, copy. Today, 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 today. And, and a copy from, <laughs> from this table. Yes. Yes. Apostle writes this book, which I'm going to encourage, even if you don't win a copy because there are only five, I'm going to strongly encourage you to buy it. And if you've bought it and read it and experienced some results, buy it for someone. Yes. Yeah? Yesterday, someone gave me a gift. Pastor Chris Kawesa gave me a gift, and it was the book. The best gift you can give to someone is the exactly. book. A book. Yep. Yeah. It's the best gift. So if you know someone who's struggling... Best birthday gift you can oh, give yes, someone this, this year book. is a copy of SFFG. Many of the gifts we buy are more expensive than this book. Yet this book will and give you less lasting valuable. value. More expensive, yes, and less, less valuable. valuable. Yeah. So get this book. So Apostle writes this book. And from this book, he starts running a series of masterminds. I remember very well coming to my first mastermind, Apostle. And we both couldn't even afford to be there. But we took a step of faith and said, "Go, you go first and then I'll come after you. Mm. Because we discovered from the SSFG Next, a brief version of the mastermind you had run, we needed to renew the mind. Mm. Guys, renew the mind. I know you're busy running around looking for money. In fact, Monday, tomorrow, you're drawing your appointments where you're going to find the money. But the mind needs to be renewed first. They need to find the mind. They need to find the, don't <laughs> find the, the money. Find, find the, the mind. mind. So he wrote the book. We went to a mastermind. I remember going through that season of eight weeks then. Eight weeks of a mastermind where you would tell us, first of all, to get us to read books. It was this book as the main text. 
and then a couple of other books that we were reading and we had assignments to do. We had to grow our income streams to 10 minimum. Yeah. And every week in a mastermind, you'd report on how much income. money you made. Weekly. Yeah, it income. wasn't just inspiration and feeling good, but yeah, how ma, much ma, money. Ma, ma, you know ma, how potential, that was so nice. My yeah. highlight, no. It was your highlight and how much money you made. Now, of course, you're going to ask, I've already come here, I don't have money. Now you're asking me to make the money from where? That's when I discovered there are so many ways to make money. Because money is a reward for, for solving, solving Problems. problems and as for problems mm. uh, 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 uh. they are bound in fact by the on in the internet there are lists that run on how many businesses you can start how many problems you can solve and start and by the way it's not complicated at all and that's when i found it wasn't complicated the first thing i needed to do yeah first of all i had a job yeah i had a job many people apostle want to get into business and have their businesses pay them immediately Mm. Maybe you need to get a job first. Yes. So that as your business grows, you're able to, you're compensated. And here is the other. Yeah. If you're struggling in your job, <laughs> don't start a business. Oh, wow. Yeah. If you, if you don't even have the capacity mm. to satisfy one customer called your, your employer, mm. then then to think that now you're going to satisfy many customers. Oh, wow. Because when you start a business, you go from one, one, one boss to several bosses. Everyone who, has <laughs> a, everyone who has a job is in business. Yeah. It's just that you have a primary client yeah. customer Who's called your employer. Yeah. And if you treat your employer as a customer, you will do amazing things something is going to change about the way yeah, you work yeah. you're going to do a lot of good in yeah. your workplace you'll be promoted yeah. people go to work to make money yes. and not to serve not at all, not to add value not to add value, yeah. that's why they are stuck yeah. in the same position with the same little uh, salary it is, it is, if, you, if you show value, if, if I come and you employ me yeah. let's say your business is making uh 20 million mm, a month, yeah. you know, revenue. Yeah. And then you employ me, and because of my impact, we jump to 50 million. Come on now. I'm able to bring my skills and we, you know, More add 30 damage. million. Mm. What, what, what do you think you have to do to keep your business going very well? My natural response would be, is, would be to ensure you stay. Exactly. So you have you, you start increase compensation, compensation I'll recognition, things. what yeah. you start thinking about if giving me what? a bit of the share of the mm, business, mm. so that we can do this together. Yeah, because otherwise, what we have is a lot of scattered little businesses, businesses that we are missing. I think someone sent me something, uh, Julie Nachiganda Sonko, that there is the scattered little entrepreneurs this side and then the big businesses this yeah. side mm. and there's the middle the missing middle the medium-sized enterprises yeah. which will require these people coming together, together and putting reducing the size of their heads increase the size of their hearts <laughs> and say we can win together yeah be part of something you see, bigger. If you decided to go start your church, come on, no. I start the uh, church. Uh, Gloria starts as whoever. We wouldn't have worship no. harvest. We would all be there in our, uh, in our teen, teen, teen world uh, things which are very hot. But because we are together, yeah, yes, seriously, yeah, totally. because we are together, we can punch harder. Yeah, we can buy land that's very expensive. We can launch serious stuff. Mm -hmm. We can you get know? a huge market share. Uh, as I'm talking about church. Oh, okay. oh, sorry. No, 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 not business. Me. Market share. Mm. What a show. <laughs> Our market share is about Sinas. seven billion people Buses who are not are saved. Devil, yeah. Yeah, but because we are together, mm. we can build buildings like yeah. this. We can, you know, be able to help the ones who are beginning out and yeah. buy land, build buildings. But if each of us was on our own, I can tell you, none of our ministries would be anywhere as close to significant yeah. as they are now yeah. when we are together. So why don't business people pick that leaf? Why does everyone insist on, on having their little their kiosk here, little kiosk there, little kiosk there, 10,000 kiosk? Anyway. 
Let's keep going. Yeah, you have it right there. That maybe as instead of you starting that little thing, find someone who is already doing probably the same, same thing and just merge resources, right? Yeah. In fact, that brings me to my other example, is that when I finished the John Maxwell certification program, I didn't have work. And I figured instead of me going to start my own little company and introduce myself out there where no one really knows me, because it's going to take me time to build that trust from the different clients, I figured, why don't I go and join Momentum Leadership Group? Because they were already on their way doing the same exact thing. So I go and knock on Apostle's door and tell him I would like to join Momentum Leadership Group. As a trainee, as a volunteer, you know, sometimes you can even say volunteer, right? Yeah, because it, makes, it gets into the system. I joined, and today, ladies and gentlemen, I coach one-on-one -on -one clients for a few small, small dollars per hour. Hey. Yeah, because when I joined Momentum Leadership Group, there and then Apostle started to train me into becoming a coach, practically, because what I had was information. So there and then, I think it's been one year since I joined Momentum Leadership Group, hey. and I'm doing business coaching, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'm doing team trainings. Wow. And that's a very, uh, considering the fact that I had just joined the market, I wouldn't have gone that far unless I joined Momentum Leadership Group where there were other coaches doing the same exact thing at another scale. Now, let's finish the story. Yeah. You're earning one million. I'm earning one million. Together. Together. You've tasked us to start 10 income streams. You start. I start 10 income streams. You solve problems. I solve problems. You start making money. I start making money. In six months. In six months, we hit an uh, a total earning of 10 million shillings. Between the two of you. Between the two of us. Per month. Per and month. In one month. Yes. They went and it from, hasn't changed. They went from making 1 million mm. a month to 10 million mm. a month because I introduced in six months, because I introduced some new ways of, of thinking, thinking into their heads. Yeah. In other words. Insight. In other words, mm. your income is a direct it's is directly correlated to the insight. You insight. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can clap for that for sure. It's the insight. It's that our interaction with Apostle opened our minds to so many possibilities. I didn't know I had so many gifts I could monetize. Yeah. You can organize an event. I'll be there for nothing. Yet I'm adding value. And that right there told me that that's value. And when you bring value and show up as a person expecting value, value will come back to you. Exactly. I can help with social media marketing right there. You get a client. Cause, and I realized so many people out there actually need help. The other thing was to add value to myself. Yep. Because again, you're the one who's bringing the value. If you don't have value, you're not going to give any value. Yep. So I had to join the John Maxwell team. So then I become a certified coach. So I can become a partner in Momentum Leadership Group. So value was the reason, the first of the mind, and then the value I started to take out there, that got us from 1 million shillings to 10 million shillings a month together. Wow! Yeah. Wow. Let's look at a scripture, First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 10. First Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 10. He's, he's finishing this line by talking about love and indeed you do so toward all the brethren who are in Macedonia. Then he changes topic and he starts talking about yeah. value. Value. Read for us that second part. It's right there on the screen. Alright. And indeed you do so. No, from the full stop. From when he starts the second thought. Yeah. But we urge you, brethren, that you increase more and more we urge you mm. in other words it is for being urged to in other words left to yourself you're not going to increase oh yeah you always need that external stimuli oh, stimulus yes. yeah. stimuli to help you move into increase mm. a lot of people are not into increase a lot of people are into settlement comfort comfort poverty comfort poverty related comfort mm. he's saying we urge you brethren that you increase more and, more and everything i'm saying right now i'm saying to people and businesses yeah 
he uses the word increase and then he uses more twice. Now, oh, yeah. is there a possibility that you can increase less? No. When it's I say possible. increase, it I automatically, automatically mean more. more. But for emphasis, yeah. he says increase more. and then he adds more and more and more. If we did the survey of businesses here for the last five years, mm. would we see exponential growth? Because that's what it is. Increase is addition. Mm -hmm. Increase more is multiplication. Yeah. Increase more and more is exponential. exponential. For those who struggle with what I'm saying, a, a increase is X plus X. <laughs> Not my nothing. Huh? Yeah. A, a increase more is x times a yeah. certain factor yeah. okay let's let's say we are using the factor of three mm. increase would be x plus three yeah increase Addition. more would be x times three multiplication increase more and more would be x to the power three exponential exponential if x was wow. three 3 plus 3 is 6. six. That's increase. Mm. 3 times 3 is 9. nine. That's increase mm. more. Mm. 3 to the power 3 is 27. That's increase more and more. If you're lost, go and get your <laughs> school fees. There's a <laughs> reason for math refund. <laughs> mathematics was compulsory until and in senior the morning. <laughs> for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but he says we you we strongly encourage to be guided day to be continued to be changed. We implore you. We implore you. Yes. Don't stay the same. Don't, Don't have settle. the same income year on year. Don't settle. Don't have your business have the same revenue year on year. And alas, some might even be reducing. This is Paul. Yeah. This is not me. This is scripture. Mm. If you want to argue, if you want to quarrel, go and quarrel with the Bible. Yeah. We urge you, brethren, that you increase more and, and more. more. In math, and is times. Yeah. Mm. Even they say two and Two and two. They mean two times two. I know, I know that some people... <laughs> I'm also, let's not go there. We are here. But let me stick with my point. Yeah. So we urge you. We urge you. To have a change in the To be a guy in the day. To be a guy in To be a guy in the To give me the raw word. Hmm? Well, what? Walego, walego. Uh, yeah. Tutana, what? What's the Swahili word? Hmm? Tuna beg, beg. Tuna beg. <laughs> eh? Tuna beg you. Yeah. Increase yeah. more. more. And more. more. This yeah. is the brethren. If you are a brother, if you are a sister, the expectation of yeah. heaven yeah. is increased. Absolutely. Given normal circumstances. And then he says in the next verse, verse 11, thank you for verse 11. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That you also aspire to lead a quiet life. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. To mind your own business uh -huh. and to work with your own hands uh -huh. as we commanded you. Ah. You aspire. Mm. This is an aspiration. Mm. It's like, what do you want to do in life? To lead a quiet life. <laughs> Someone <laughs> said that deep, deep waters don't make noise. Don't make noise. Don't make noise. Deep water don't make noise. There is a reason maybe why you make so much noise. <laughs> Someone said when 
if the argument is weak, uh -huh. increase the volume. <laughs> <It's over. laughs> increase the volume the doesn't volume. improve the argument, that right? Help the situation. We have a situation. Mm. Yeah. Deep waters quiet. don't make noise. Mm. They are quiet. quiet. Mm. They are minding their businesses business. to mind your own business. Because you know, the temptation to mind other people's business. Come on now on social media, in the news. Eish. You know more about SpaceX than your own <laughs> business. <laughs> Apple. You know more about Tesla than mm. your own business. Mm. You know more about Apple than your own business. Mm, Google. If I ask you about Google, you can tell me. Mm, mm, if I ask you your own revenue, your mm, own profit, you your explain. own tax, whatever deductions, you have no clue. But the Apple other side, like you this. know. It's like, it's like this. this. <laughs> I, can, I can explain. <laughs> Quietness to mind your business. Wow. Yeah. Ma if you're a pastor, you know more about Lakewood than your own church. Hey, you know what someone they taught last week? Yeah, you know how many people attend mm. Lakewood. When I ask you about the people in your own church, Mercy. You, you get offended. It's not about people, Apostle. You become defensive. Yeah, it's not about the numbers. It's not about the numbers. Why are you interested in Lakewood? <laughs> if it's not about the numbers. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Mind your own Pitching business. Words. Get your mind, that one, between on. your ears and put it in your own business. business. Yeah. Your mind Arrested. should be on your business. Momentum equals focus plus, plus intensity. intensity. Anytime you lack one of the two, Come on. you don't have momentum. And momentum is the leader's best friend. Mm. If you can't create momentum, you shouldn't be leading. Mm. Get off the steering mm. wheel, let someone else take mm. the people where they need to go. To create momentum, you need focus. Focus on what? On, on your, your business. business. And then you need what? Intensity. 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 Mm. Every five minutes, you're asking a you're question, on one of the people. Mm. Well, where is this? Send me that profit report How again. Where is that? Uh -huh. what, what, how are our staff doing? Mm. Who is mm. very happy? Mm. Who, Who is, is not happy? Yeah. Why are Customers. they not happy? Mm. What? That's the thing. You, you have to be asking mm. the whole time. The people who work with me, mm. they can expect mm. a text from me any time. 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 11 p.m., 4, 10. It, yeah. Intensity. Focus plus intensity. Yeah. If you, your, yours is working better than mine, it's okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have working hours. Oh. I have life. Yeah. Okay. Because, you know, the thing can come to you at the wrong time. An idea can hit you. And that's the, there's yeah. a reason it's coming to you at that, that time. time. Yeah. You see those who insist that working hours are between 8 and 5. Then why do you board well, airplanes at night? <laughs> Those people who are flying you around in the night, they have for them, they don't have working hours. hours. Yeah. Don't they have families? Don't they have families to yeah. go to? Yeah. You see, I am sick and tired of non-progressive, stuck, little mm. things. Mm. Especially when you know that it can be better. You know, it's one thing to say, it's like that because, you know, we've tried everything. And mm, look, mm. this is the result. It's another when. when you can really see the result can be five times. But this person, they are just into being around and feeling important. Yeah. And Come on now. Mind your, your own, own business. business. Put your mind on your business. Put your mind on, on your, your business. business. Not your neighbor. Have the key figures on your fingertips. When right. they ask how many employees you have, how many customers? you shouldn't be saying, mm, give me two days. Ah! Mm. Are you Ford? <laughs> <laughs> For Ford, we can need two days. But you, with your thing, you can't even tell me how many people you are employing. Apostle. Do you have a customer database? Mm, we, I told some guy to help me with one. Yeah. yeah. Some it's guy. Some guy. Mind your own business. 
it's just mm. stirring. Mm, 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 mm. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and what's, also, what's your profit margin mm. percentage? Mm. Mm. Give me four days. Mm. You, what are you doing? All this time. What are you focusing on? Let's, you know the time is even going. They are going to tell us we are done before we are done. To work with your oh. own hands, your own hands and, and head as we commanded you. Yeah. Com not suggested. Commanded. Yeah. If, at least if you are in worship harvest, mm. Eh? Mm. you are expected to be working and earning. That's mm. the pastoral expectation mm. of you. It's a command. It's a command. It's a command. You can't say, me, the Lord has called me mm. to be idle. No. Even Paul worked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All those people, they worked. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't give us your idle talk. We don't want it. We are not interested. Yeah. Go find a job or go start a business. That's my pastoral expectation yeah. of every member of worship oh, yeah. who is above oh, 18 yeah. years old. Yeah. Next verse. That you may walk properly toward those who are outside and that you may lack nothing. What is the result of increasing Quietness, more and more? Increase, living a quiet, quiet life, life minding, work, minding your our own business, business working, working with, with our own hands. hands. The result is that. That you may walk properly toward those who are outside and that you may lack nothing two things mm. one you'll have a testimony totally i do you will have a testimony before the people of the world mm. they will know you're an integral person yeah they will know that when they see you driving that car <laughs> or whatever they are not going to wonder but this person doesn't do any work mm. how you know well, what I'm saying? Is not yeah? making sense. Yeah, we are. Mm. This the, the 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 value we know they bring mm. into the world, which is largely watching TV <laughs> and being on social media and being on social media, not yeah. as an influencer. No, 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 no. Mm, as one minding other people's business. And the money they have. Mm. And did, do they have an inheritance? Did someone did someone mm. leave them a lot of money? What's mm. going on? You see, that's how you start yeah. losing. Yeah. Your testimony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because people can't so correlate questions. your yeah. money and your work life. Yeah. You're always sleeping around. No, not like. <laughs> not no, the no, other no, sleeping no, around. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you're always sleeping <laughs> at <always> home. <laughs> yeah, and maybe uh, you have many visitors. Maybe you're a lady and you have mm. many visitors who are men to your house and. It's quite difficult. But then mm. you're inviting people for MC to your house for mission or community. So now people are like, but uh, what does this person do? Mm. Are those his uncles and brothers and cousins who visit? <laughs> <laughs> why, why are people trying to make it look like what I'm saying? Mm is not <laughs> even the people online why are they following why, why are people making why why why, why has quietness presbyterian <laughs> church entered the studio to make it look like what i'm saying also, is not real they are listening they are getting you hmm? what a shock what a shock that you may <laughs> That you may lack, lack nothing. nothing. The first lack. thing is you have a testimony. Mm. The second thing is you lack nothing. nothing. Mm. So if there is anything missing in mm. your life, mm, it is because you have not taken this issue of working and income seriously. You're not minding your business. Mm. You are minding Elon Musk's business and Bill Gates and I don't know who. So it's time to mind your own business. And as a business... Yeah. Now, let me talk to business people because our time is out. The same thing that applies to a person Talk is the same thing same that head. applies to a business. Mm. Is your business producing value? That's all. Mm. If you produce value, income will never be a Just thing follow. that we have to argue mm. about. Mm. Why don't you help me appreciate our Apostle Studio audience?
and all of the people online come on now help me celebrate apostle at that location where you are in that business chapter help me celebrate apostle for adding value to us i'm seeing all the posts here and all your comments i'm sure the media team is making sure our top five are noted so they can get yeah, their we'll gift need today. to announce them before oh, yeah. we close yes friends you know what to do the steps are very clear the command is that we increase more and more the command is that we should be fruitful and how we do we do that we lead a quiet life we mind our business we focus and then we work with our hands put value in the market so the value can come back to us three simple steps that you can implement this week that you can use to change something yeah apostle has spoken about so many things including being intense Focusing on those numbers, tracking them daily, weekly, hourly, so you can gain the momentum you need as a business. And of course, the result of that is no doubt you'll have a testimony to tell other people to draw them in. And the second thing is that you eliminate lack totally because God's will for us as the children of God is that we should live in a realm of abundance above and extra to be a blessing to the nations so if you have been watching this and you know someone else who needs to watch it why don't you share the link with them so they can watch this so that they can move away from the realm of luck and the blame game of it's because of this and the other that I don't have money. It's not true. It's all because of us. So friends, thank you so much once again for joining us. If you've been watching us and you're not a believer, you've not come to the serving knowledge of Jesus Christ, I want to implore you. I want to urge you, to strongly encourage you to make a decision today because it all starts with this one decision, to receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. And it's very simple. The Bible says you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. And these words I'm about to say, I'm going to ask you, invite you to say them after me. And after we are done, you'll be born again. So why don't you join me and say, Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus I come to you today today to surrender my life to, surrender my life. to you yeah. Lord, Lord today I believe in my heart, today I believe in my heart and confess with my, mouth confess with my mouth that you're the Lord of my life, Lord of my life. take my life, take my life and, do and do something significant with it devil, devil today, today between me and you today. there is no more relationship, no more relationship. it's over you have no hold on my life you have no, you have no plans for my life I belong to Jesus belong to, Jesus. to him, and him, him and him alone in Jesus mighty name amen. amen oh yes clap your hands all you people if you have just said that simple prayer right there and then you have received Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior and that's where everything starts from so why don't you go ahead and send a text to this number that's running on your screen and let us know you've just said that prayer you've just made that prayer with us someone at the end of that line would like to help you make sense of the decision you have made because it's a new journey there's so much to learn and to discover so you can walk into the plans God has for you and the number is 0775 I'll say it again for those who are listening in 0775 Go ahead and send a text to that number and we'll be eagerly waiting to help you make sense of the decision you have just made. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll be back on this same channel and platform same time next week. Yes, but we have winners. Oh yeah, come on I now. Have winners most active on YouTube this hey, morning. Drum rolls, people. The winners. Are you ready? Yes. I need, even if you haven't won and you're on YouTube, you should be clapping for that. Okay. The winners, the winners are Tracy Birunji. Come Tracy on, Birunji. teacher Tracy, we yes. see you. Tracy. The second is Tony Mugenyi. Come on now. By the way, Tony Tracy, Tracy Birunji is planting a church in uh, yes. Gomba. In Gomba. Tony Mugenyi is part of uh, Worship Harvest. No. Tony Mugenyi. <laughs> Seguku. That's Edwin Mugenyi, Papa. Huh? That's, That's Edwin. Edwin Mugenyi. Oh, yes. Tony Mugenyi Museka. <laughs> they say, listen to your wife. It works every time. All the time. What a shock. <laughs> and when you don't. Yeah, yeah. So, Tony Mugenyi Museka. Yeah, Pastor Ivy in Napo. Hey, Worship hey, Muyenga. Muyenga. 
Joshua Engole, Endless hey, Lights, Worship Harvest Nakawa, come on now. and Reagan Tisa, that's Worship Harvest Buseka, Buseka as yeah, well. So, yeah. two people from Buseka. Come on, people, Bakamanga, help me celebrate Labosta our winners. Yes. Now, every location has a Business it's Leaders chapter. Network chapter. Just text your location, Pastor, yeah. and ask if you are in business. Please, if you are not running a business, don't disturb people. <laughs> Okay, but if you are running a business, yeah. please text your location pastor to be mm. added to the local chapter mm. of, of your BLN location. Of your location. Yes. God bless you so much. See you next Sunday. Amazing stuff. Thank you, Pastor Flo. Thank, Thank you, you everyone. Also. You're welcome yet again to an amazing month where we're going to share very interesting stuff about business. Business group coaching is back. This business started in 2019 on the cusp of COVID. Right now, the, the entire organization has over 30 people. If that is not growth, you see what I meant when I told you we were bringing somebody with results to show? That the reason why I need to have this is that people who follow me are mostly sinners. So, <laughs> so they need to hear the word of the Lord. <laughs> So he knew how to calculate cost of goods, he knew how to purchase, he knew how to price, he knew how to repair, he knew even how to collect debts. You strongly believe Jesus was a business? Yes. Anyone who sets up a business to work in it, you created a job for yourself, that business will fail. When the leader sees small, yeah. the business is definitely going to stay small. small and so is everyone in it trapped in the smallness. Exactly. You who think the business people are not in kingdom business. Ooh. We have a new product from Harvest Multipurpose Corporate. HMC Summer School Fees Advance is designed to allow you quick access to school fees advances, a 30 days repayment holiday, and the product is at favorable rates. Sign up today for Mvubu Kasoma. You can call or WhatsApp the administrator on 0704-811-469.